Priscilla taught Apollos so women can teach the scriptures to mix gender groups. True or false? 1 Timothy 2 verse 12 I do not permit a woman to teach or to exercise authority over a man. Rather, she is to remain quiet. Now, to reject the most straightforward and consistent application of 1 Timothy 2 verse 12, attempts have been made to cite Acts 18 verse 24 to 26 as proof that women can teach the scriptures to mix gender groups. Since it is claimed, Priscilla taught Apollos. Now let's search the scriptures and test it out. Acts 18 verse 24 26. Now a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, competent in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. Let's look at Apollos' profile and then Priscilla and Aquila's profile. Apollos' profile, the man, a faithful but fallible teacher. Faithful. He was an eloquent man, competent in the scriptures, verse 24. He was instructed in the way of the Lord, verse 25. He was taught, he taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, as much as he knew up to that point, verse 25. Faithful teacher, but also fallible teacher. He knew only the baptism of John, verse 25, which means probably he heard that John testified that Jesus is the Christ, and he believed, but he did not yet know the full details about Jesus. So, a faithful but fallible teacher. The setting. He was teaching the scripture to a mixed gender group. He taught the scripture in the synagogue, verse 26, which was a mixed group with men and women. After all, Priscilla and Aquila, woman and a man, were both uh, in this group hearing him teach, verse 26. So, Apostle's profile shows us that a man who was a faithful and followable teacher was teaching the scripture to a mixed gender group. How about Priscilla and Aquila? The woman and the man. They knew some truths about the way of God that the teacher did not. That's what uh, verse 26 says. The setting. Explaining God's truth to the teacher personally. Priscilla and Aquila took him aside and in this more personal setting, verse 26, they explained to him the way of God more accurately. So, uh, this brings us to the important question. Did Priscilla teach Apollos? Answer, no. Apollos taught Priscilla and everyone else in that mixed gender group in the synagogue. It wasn't Priscilla teaching Apollos. It was Apollos teaching Priscilla and everyone else. So Priscilla did not teach Apollos. Second reason, no. Priscilla and Aquila explained to Apollos, not taught Apollos, different Greek word. Third reason, no. Priscilla and Aquila explained to Apollos personally, not just Priscilla. Okay, so with these observations, back to the initial issue. Priscilla taught Apollos so women can teach the scripture to mix gender groups. True or false? Answer, false. Right from the very beginning, the premise itself is false. Priscilla did not even teach Apollos. Apollos taught her and everyone else in that mixed group. But that's not all. In order to justify 
women teaching the scripture to mix gender groups, we need proof that Priscilla taught the scripture to a mixed gender group. It's not enough to prove that Priscilla taught Apollos, which we, can, we have seen is already false. We need proof that Priscilla taught the scripture to a mixed gender group. Only then can we say Priscilla taught the scripture to a mixed gender group so women today can also teach the scripture to mixed gender groups. So the question is, does Acts chapter 18 verse 24 to 26 provide such proof, provide proof that Priscilla taught a mixed gender group? Now let me demonstrate this point with two examples. You see, to justify a man-woman team teaching a mixed gender group, uh, maybe a male leader, female co-leader, a male past, a senior pastor, female associate pastor. To justify these kind of things, Acts 18 verse 24 to 26 should read this way. Now a Jew named Aquila, born in Pontus, with his wife Priscilla, came to Ephesus. They were an eloquent couple, competent in the scriptures. They had been instructed in the way of the Lord, and being fervent in spirit, they spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though they knew only the baptism of John. They began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Apollos heard them, he took them aside and explained to them the way of God more accurately. Now, to justify a woman alone teaching a mixed gender group, Acts 18 verse 24 26 should read this way. Now, a Jew named Priscilla came to Ephesus. She was an eloquent woman, competent in the scriptures. She had been instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in spirit, she spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though she knew only the baptism of John. She began to speak boldly in the synagogue. But when Apollos heard her, he took her aside and explained to her the way of God more accurately. Compare this with the true Acts 18 verse 24 to 26. The true Acts 18 verse 24 to 26 shows a, a man, Apollos, who taught the misgender group. Acts 18 verse 24 to 26 does not show Priscilla and Aquila teaching the mixed gender group. So how can this passage be cited to justify a man-woman team teaching a mixed gender group? It doesn't even match the facts. Again, Acts 18 does not show Priscilla alone teaching the mixed gender group. So how can this passage be cited to justify a woman teaching a mixed gender group? Once again, the facts from Acts 18 do not match either of these erroneous applications. The true Acts 18 verse 24 26 is completely inverted 180 degrees to justify error. There is no scriptural evidence in Acts 18 of a man-woman team teaching the scripture to a mixed gender group. And there is no scriptural evidence of a woman alone teaching the scripture to a mixed gender group. Instead, Acts 18, verse 24 to 26, proves that a man and a woman from the congregation may explain certain truths as personal feedback to a faithful but fallible teacher who taught the scriptures to the mixed gender group that they were a part of. So, the application to us of Acts 18, verse 24 to 26 should be Men and women can go and give personal feedback on the teaching of your male Bible study leader or your male small group leader or your male pastor teacher. Both men and women can give that kind of feedback. But Acts 18 verse 24 26 does not prove that women can teach the scriptures to a mixed gender group. So it cannot be cited as justification for women to go and teach in a mixed gender group. There is no proof. This text does not support that. So back to the initial issue, Priscilla taught Apollos, so women can teach the scripture to mixed gender groups.
True or false? Remember we saw that it was based on a false premise already from the beginning. Priscilla did not teach Apollos. And now we see that Acts chapter 18 verse 24 26 must be completely inverted to justify such an erroneous application. So the answer should be obvious. It's false. Completely false. Instead, we should just stick to the truths that are taught in this chapter. Men and women should give personal feedback to their teachers, male teachers. But there is no justification for a woman, whether she's alone or in a pair with a man, to teach the scriptures to a mixed gender group. We ought to remember this passage too, 1 Timothy 2 verse 12. I do not permit a woman, a woman to teach a man or to have authority, to exercise authority over a man, rather she is to remain quiet. 